Hi guys and uh, welcome to the garage. Right, what are we up against today? Um, well, seems like I've got a bit of a problem with my car. Um, basically it's making a high pitched squealing noise uh, when it's running along the road at anything above 2000 RPM really. Um, so I've been in touch with the, uh, the guys that service it and they have told me that the most likely cause is the drive belt at the front of the engine the belt that drives the alternator and the air conditioning and so on um, and it's not uncommon for the earlier cars to have this problem but most of them have actually been fixed during service uh, well mine's not had this issue before so it's never been fixed so it's uh, it's not in warranty any longer it's seven years old now so it's down to me to fix it really so the guys that serviced it said I needed to buy the new pulley which is modified um, which I have here uh, it's basically it's got two shoulders front and rear as, as opposed to the original which only has one shoulder so that's the modified pulley and as I've got to take the belt off anyway um, I thought I might as well buy a new one uh, and it's a hell of a, a hell of a long <laughs> Hell of a long belt, so I'm not quite sure where it actually all goes yet. So I need to get in there and find out. But as you can see, genuine Aston Martin belt, made in the USA. So first off, I'll give you an indication of the noise. Um, then, if any other owners experience a similar problem, then they'll be able to hopefully identify it from this. Uh, I'll just start the car up, and you'll get to hear. This uh, the squealing noise that I'm talking about. Hopefully, anyway. Okay, well, hopefully you could hear that clearly enough. Um, it's like a high-pitched squeal. That's um, quite distinctive, really, and it all happens above 2,000 RPM and doesn't go away. So the the faster you go, the louder it gets. Um, so obviously it needs sorting out. So as you can see, this is the front of the engine. The belt is tucked somewhere down there. Um, it's not going to be the easiest of things to get at, and as a, again the, the guys that did the servicing on it have been very helpful and they, they actually said to me it's probably best to tackle it from from underneath so I need to get the car up on axle stands and uh, make it secure and then get the, all the under tray off from underneath and then we'll have a look down there and see what we can find and hopefully cure the problem and again folks right well I've made a, uh, a bit of a start anyway in that I've identified the routing of the belt and drawn it out so I wasn't going to try and remember which way it goes because I don't think I'd ever get that right again so I thought if I draw it out on a piece of card then um, I've got half a chance of getting the belt back in the right place the pulley that I'm going to be changing is this one here this is an idler pulley there are two idlers um, and that's the one that needs to to come out apparently from what my experts tell me so Tomorrow morning I shall be making a start on that. Um, I know how to release the tension on the belt, you just need a 3 8 drive wrench. Um, so release the tension, slide the belt off, uh, remove that pulley that needs changing and hopefully um, it should all go back together pretty good. So that's what I've done up to now. Um, I'll continue tomorrow. Okay.